Are you ready to boost your metabolism? Grab your dumbbells and let's go! All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and groove and have your dumbbells completely out of the way. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> let's get started with some arm circles with high knees, you guys. Welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And let me tell you something. Remembering to tell you to put the dumbbells out of the way totally feels like self-love. <laughs> And also, ah, oh, today's metabolism boost is definitely going to feel like some self-love. Even if you are a lover of cardio like I am, this kind of work that we are doing today, so good for weight loss, so good for your muscles, so good for your bones, so good for your vanity. <laughs> I, I am not the kind of trainer who is like, oh, you can look great and feel good too. I'm definitely a, you can feel good and oh, by the way, did you know that this can help you look good too kind of a trainer? But this, this can help you look good. This kind of work that we are doing today, let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers, is all strength all the time. I do have music for you today. If you don't like it, please feel free to listen to your own because I'm not gonna do a lot of chatting. We're really going to sink in and feel the work. My friends, the brain-body connection is the way that you get results. It is the way that you can really find the muscles and make them stronger, more beautiful, more toned, and more useful for you. And, and I mean, as far as weight loss goes, the more muscle you have, the more metabolically active your body is. That's a metabolism boost. It means, it means the more calories you're burning every single minute of every single day because your body is toned and strong. So here's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. Welcome to Blossom's sleeping chair. Welcome to, I'm gonna to tone it down a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself into the mood for this. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for very generous one minute intervals. I've also got 10 seconds to transition in between the exercises, just because I know that sometimes, especially when we're really in it, like we're gonna to be today, I need a couple seconds to figure out where am I? What am I doing next? What's going on with that? And maybe even to finish the last rep on the last side because I know how that is. <laughs> I like to even things out too. So here's what it looks like. I do have some squats and lunges today. Any squat I do, please feel free to do any kind of kick. Truly any kick, it does not matter. You don't need to see me doing it on screen. Kick forward. Kick backward, kick out to the side. Whatever feels best to you that you can feel in your butt and your legs is exactly the right kind of kick to be doing. And we're actually gonna start off with squats, you guys. Let's enjoy this. Coming up next, we're doing a side step press up. So hands start right here at your shoulders as you step to the side, you're pressing up that hand.
Nice job. Coming up next is three point crunches. Hands still here at your shoulders, both elbows forward, one knee at a time, really crunching and squeezing. Awesome job. Coming up next is deadlifts. Pull in that core, feet about hip width apart or maybe a little bit wider. Back stays super straight the whole time. Here we go. Coming up next, we're doing a high knee front raise, side raise. So one hand is raising to the front, the other one out to the side, and one knee coming up at a time. Pull in that core. Nice job. Coming up next is triangles. Feet almost uncomfortably wide, hands right here at your middle. One hand goes up overhead while the other one slides down the side of your leg. Great job. Coming up next is curtsy curls or curling kicks. Whichever way works best for you. Elbows locked into your waist. And here we go.
<laughs> Coming up next, we're doing letter X's. Core is pulled in tight, feet are about hip width apart. We're gonna form the top half of the letter X and then the bottom half of the letter X. Squeeze from those big back muscles. Nice job. Coming up next is cross body crunches. Elbows out wide. Your opposite elbow towards your opposite knee. Hands right here on your shoulders. Squeeze in the middle. Nice job, that was the circuit. We're gonna do everything one more time, starting with those squats. Awesome job. All right, coming up next, we're doing side step press ups. Get a hold of your core, <laughs> hands here at your shoulders as you step to the side, press up. Awesome. Coming up next, three point crunches. So once again, hands at your shoulders, elbows like comfortably out, and then we're gonna pull them together while we squeeze and meet one high knee in the middle.
Awesome. Coming up next, we're doing deadlifts. Feet about hip width or maybe a little bit wider. Pull in that core. Make sure your back is super, super straight. Hips drive this motion. Push back, pull forward. Coming up next, we're doing that high knee, front raise, side raise. <sighs> Breathe, pull in your core, and here we go. All right, coming up next, we're doing triangles. Feet are almost uncomfortably wide. Hands right here at your middle. One hand goes up overhead. The other one rolls right down the side of your leg. That whole hip complex is involved in jutting out and squeezing back underneath you. Excellent job. Coming up next, we're doing curtsy curls or curling kicks, whichever way works best for you. Elbows are locked into your waist, and here we go. job. Coming up next, we're doing letter X's. Pull in that core. I know it's getting tough. The feet are just about hip width apart. We're going to use those big back muscles, the top of the letter X and the bottom. Squeeze from the middle.
excellent job all right you guys here it is, cross body crunches, hands up, elbows out, opposite elbow towards your opposite knee, big squeeze in the middle, try not to fall out of it. We are done, but we're not quite finished. We're gonna do a front kick, back kick with a press up. So as you kick front, we're pressing up with the opposite hand. As you kick back, pressing up with the same hand. Then we're gonna switch front kick and back kick on the other side. Put those dumbbells down. Oh, my friends. Isn't it amazing how sweaty we can get even without moving fast? That slow moving dumbbell work feels so, so good. You did such a great job today. Really paying attention to your muscles, paying attention to your form, thinking about where your core was, where your arms were, which muscles were doing which kind of work. Such, such a great job developing that mind-body connection, working on our balance, working on our strength, and let's be honest, looking darn good doing it. <laughs> My friends, let's open it up nice and wide. And then close it up. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty back. You guys, what a great, great job you did today. Now here on screen, like always, I do have an extended cool down for you. A little bit of walking, a little bit more stretching. Really let those muscles know that it's totally okay. They don't have to squeeze anymore. They can stretch back out and get right back to doing what they were doing, which by the way, might be on your way to losing some weight on the other side of the screen. I have everything you need to know about losing weight at 50 and beyond. My friends, thank you so, so much for working out with me today. Make sure that you subscribe before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.